today's experiment, we are going to tackle or discuss about solar and lunar eclipse. And to start with, let me introduce to you the materials needed in this experiment. The first one is the flashlight here, wherein it represents the sun. And uh, this model, which is composed of which is composed of styro balls with varying size, with a big and small one, wherein the small one represent the moon, while this one represent the earth. So what happened here is that this model is made of these materials here it was the moon was attached on a plastic fork like on earth so what happened here is that the box here is circle form so it was rotating so the it was rotating like this so through this through this model, we can do or we can experiment or we can do some experiment about solar and lunar eclipse. So, it is, I guess it is work or it works better if we turn off the light. So, better we have the setup for this. So, I'll go to the experiment proper. So, now I turn off the light and this is the setup wherein as you can see here, this, this one, the flashlight, represent the sun and this one represent the earth and the moon. Now, I will turn off the light of this video for you to notice the solar and lunar eclipse. So now this is what you see in the solar and lunar eclipse. So at first one, as we can see, the light source here. This is the sun. We're in it. Gibbs light. Now the earth and the moon as you can see in the video now if the moon rotates and now if the moon rotates and then align there's an alignment a car which is like this one what you can see is that if there's alignment a car between this one so I will open the lights of this video what you can see if there's a alignment of Sun moon and earth what happened is we have a solar eclipse so what happened here is this one so the shadow of the moon was seen on the earth so solar eclipse occur because of this alignment again the alignment is sun moon and the earth so that is the solar eclipse now if the moon continue rotating so like this one so if the moon continue rotating like this one so if the moon continue rotating like this one so in this this one if we create an alignment between sun earth and the moon here what happened is that there is a lunar eclipse so this is the alignment I will show you in top view 
so that is the lunar eclipse so i will turn off the light for you to see the shadow so what you can see here is that the shadow of the earth covers the moon so like this one so as as the moon continue rotating again then solar eclipse will occur like this one then as the moon continue rotating what happen is that if we create an alignment between sun earth and moon then we have a lunar eclipse so that is what happened so that's the simple experiment about solar and lunar eclipse